So welcome to my channel. Before I get into anything, before I do anything, the time now is 5.45, no, 5.48 a.m. Wednesday morning. Topic is today about five presidents that people didn't know was black way before Obama was even born, existed. And that George Washington wasn't the first president, he was the eighth president. I'm gonna speak about it. really six black presidents that people didn't know about. John Hansen served as president in 1781 to 1782. And I'm going to show you a picture of him. This is a man that's lost in, in history. Let's pull him up. See him right there? John Hansen. If you pull him up, you'll see a white guy named John Hansen. That's not the one I'm talking about, because that's the one they're trying to trick people with. And look him up. And um, now I'm going to get started on these other presidents. First president was Jefferson. He was the third president. He served from 1801 to 1809. Um, Jefferson was like mixed origin. He was a mulatto and his wife, I think, was Indian and white, but he also was a black man. People don't know this, though. They don't teach this in school. And the other president, um, let me see. Seventh president of the United States was, um, what's his name? I can't think of his name. But his name is a N O R L W. He's another one. And I want to get to um, Abraham Lincoln. He was a more, you know, more means uh, a person of, of black origin. His father was a black American, and his mother was from Ethiopia. When he was passing, you can look him up. You will see his father's right in there. He's a he's a, a black American. And um, the other one is um, I think I'm saying his name Calvin. Um, his last name is C O O L T O G E. He was um. Mixed origins, too. Um, he was a governor of Massachusetts at one time. He was uh, the 16th president. He served from 1801 to 1865, I think. And um, the other president I'm talking about, he was a general. Uh, what is his name? The bottom name. My eye I served on my eye. I can't really see his name, but um, these are the five men that was uh black, but they was they served the country, and nobody never knew it. They don't teach this in school. You can look this stuff up yourself. Just ask for the five president that was. Black and they they pop right up. The other one, Eisenhower. Yeah, it was Eisenhower. Um, yep, not Eisenhower. Yeah. And the last one is um. Well, you can look this stuff up. I'm telling you that they was um all black. And so they don't teach this stuff in school. 
They also had uh, uh, black ladies too in the in the White House. We don't know about. I spoke about them another time. But these men really did exist, and this is a thing that YouTubers we should be doing teaching culture. And I'm gonna do it again and make it more clear and stuff so people can see who I'm talking about. They were when in Jefferson. Um, he, he was like a mixed origin. He was um, him and his wife was Native American and white. He also was mixed with black. You can pull him up. You will see everything I'm talking about pop right up. Those are the five black presidents. Well, really six with John Hanson. They had tried to fool you. They had put the white guy up there. His name John Hanson too, but they won't t tell nobody about that. That uh, John Hanson was black. He looked just like the man. I'm going to show the picture of him again. He looked almost like the man on Uncle Ben's box of rice. Sir, remember the guy used to have? Up oh, there he is. Remember the guy they used to have on the Uncle Ben's box of cereal, rice? He looked just like him. And he might be related to him. But they, uh, that picture was very old. But uh, John has a present. But the other picture... Um, might have been taken in the 40s or 50s, and the Alan Witten decided to put them on the box of cereal. I guess they were trying to tell people they're not racist. But these are things that people don't know about. And like I was saying, like all the people that want to keep somebody they depressed, they could have a YouTube channel, like this other guy said. Um, my mother told me that before. That don't mean that don't make you depressed. That's why nobody people be laughing at. Them. They think they got a little camera, it makes them depressed, but it don't. Y'all not legit. But getting back to these presidents, do me a favor, look them up, and you will see what I'm talking about. They was all. I'm gonna do a part uh, two to this. I'm just trying to give y'all a little insight, cause I'm so sleepy. I just had to put this out here, but. I'm going to do a part two um, today or tomorrow so y'all can really see what I'm talking about. I'm going to name all of them. Well, I named them just now, but I'm going to, I'm so tired. I had surgery on my eyes, so I can't really see how to, you know, to, to do too much. But I'm just giving y'all that little taste. My girl said, I didn't know. I said, yeah, they don't want you to know anything. Um, that's why I put that out here. And um, if you like what I'm saying, comment, share, and like, and subscribe. And next topic, I'm going to do part two to this. Then I'm going to do a topic on great Native American Indians that's forgotten, too. You don't hear nobody talk about them either. And you can't give everything credit. Like, if it wasn't for Native Americans, my ancestors, Nobody would have a legacy today in this country and stuff like that. They made it possible for everybody to, to benefit from this country. Even the ones that stole, they the one really benefited the most the people that stole the country. And how could you steal a, a person's um, land and, and claim it your own? Nobody really owns the land. God owns the land. That's why I tell my wife when, and I told my cousin, when you buy a house, buy the foundation that the house gonna stand on. Some people just buy the house, you don't own it. You don't own the land that it stand on. So that means they want to build a highway through there. Your ass gonna have to move. That's why it's better for my aunt. Aunt bought a house. She bought the land, like the lot first, the dirt. Because if you if you buy it like a like a street, it's a block. By that that street, nobody could come on it because it's private. It'd be yours, and see that's what I would do. Just when you open that deed, just like the United States, I would love to, for them to show me they got a deed to this to the, the whole United States. A, a, a deed. That's what I was saying. I'm getting. I'm just going around letting y'all know, like what I'm saying. People go by paperwork. It's like I took those other Indian land. I did a story on them the other day. Um, how could you take some? And and they said that he made um, 
Native Americans, um, citizens. How could you make somebody a citizen when they was already here? They was already a citizen before it became a United States. That's what I'm saying. And I know he have good point, Dean Hollow Halloway, Dean Halloway. But I was just telling him too. How could you go by what a white man put here and and declare that natives ain't native because they ain't got a damn birth certificate? There's a lot of natives walking around today. It's undocumented. That make them not who they say they is, but they they go by paperwork. Jesus didn't have no paperwork when he was telling people who he was, because he was telling the truth. It's like I'm trying to put my truth out there. You can't go by what, that is strange. How you gonna go by with somebody telling you and they was a citizen to begin with? Like I told them about the Constitution, how they got the other natives land. I just throw on they used the Constitution of the United States that, and, and took their land with a legal documentation papers. So the papers don't prove nothing. First, they don't prove nothing. That's proof that they making you a phony in this country. You don't but you don't own shit in the United States. So like that, they ain't been make you think you know you don't even own a vehicle. You drive. So if it wasn't you, had to keep paying all this stuff, registration, insurance, driver's license, it's all a fraud. But it's a good one because they making millions and billions of dollars off of it. It's like a bank. They could, if you had five million dollars in the bank, they could take they take your money and invest in other things and and and, and make millions of it. And they put it back without you even knowing it. But this bank got caught. I was telling people my other side, the bank got caught doing that. And they got in trouble. They this lady had a million dollars in the bank. She went to take out the money they didn't have it because the bank took the money and they couldn't replace it. And I don't want to give up the subject. I'm just, you know, telling y'all don't believe everything you see. It's like public and the one they had a good point, don't believe the hype. But people believe the hype, so I guess y'all gonna go through life for the next generation believing that paperwork is good. But after, after a while, paperwork gonna become obsolete. That's why them YouTubers better get another job because some of them, they like to harass people. One of them don't even work. He he collect welfare and, that, and, and do that in his spare time trying to be a journalist. Like to and just have to do it because you got a YouTube channel that don't make no camera person or journalist. Fakers. That's why I'm saying people gonna take other people's identity. Even the president, they took other people's identity, passing for some. But I guess in them days, but some of them was bad. They had told people they really was. They wouldn't have put that them in the White House. They were very thorough with that bullshit they had back then. I'm sorry the video is short, but I'm so sleepy. I just have to feel like getting that out there before I go to bed and get me some sleep. I got to get up and go to my appointment in a couple of hours. So, let me know. I'll talk to you later.